links or videos. So do you want to learn how to code? And and so for me, I'm just going to use JavaScript because that's mainly predominantly what I'm working on. Okay. So um, so do you want to learn how to learn JavaScript? Whatever. Is it going to be via a book or is it going to be via videos? And the thing is, there can be a little bit of both. Okay. So for me personally, my first introduction into the programming world and everything uh, started off on Codecademy, right? And so a little bit of typing, whatever, whatever. Um, I, I knew it was interesting, and so what did I do? I went to the library. I went to the library and got a huge book this thick on JavaScript and just started reading it with the mentality that before videos, before online education, people were using these books and they were teaching themselves how to code there's got to be enough information in there and it's got to be focused and it's got to have a process within the book um, and, and sure enough it did you know it was all very foreign to me and very intimidating but nonetheless sometimes something that that you can use is just remember some of these things are built for people that are not as smart as you and essentially they're dummy proof so they're designed in a way that you can figure it out okay um, there is no college degree required to read a book having said that so um, so I started off reading this book and just straight up reading the book and that was it um, I was you know doing some googling doing a lot of reading and it was actually later that I started doing video tutorials and watching some of the stuff on YouTube um, and Udemy and started finding websites like Udacity and whatever and getting all of the f access to the free stuff I could. Um, and I, w I would still say that reading has some very large benefits. Um, but you, you can't bypass the fact that you can absorb things much easier and process, uh, process them with video. And, you know, YouTube was a huge help, okay? People like The New Boston, huge help, okay? So there are a ton of YouTube videos online for free. And I don't think it's bad, and actually I would encourage... Um, reading while simultaneously reviewing it with video like the material is going to be the same thing if they're talking about prototypes if we're talking about arrays or whatever like it's going to be covered in both book form and video form but reading the book and watching the videos together right synonymously this helps you process and and understand from one thing what they're trying to get across on the other okay um and um, I'm going to leave uh, two links below specifically of things that I've been going through um, that happened, that coincidentally happened to coincide with one another perfectly um, because of just, I guess I just happen to go through luck. Or it's because of what I'm trying to do right now is gain a deep, deep understanding of uh, JavaScript for debugging purposes. And um, I came across um, a... Uh, Udemy course um, called JavaScript, the weird parts, and I came across a book called Object Oriented uh, JavaScript or something. It's 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 a it's a common book. You'll find it. Whatever. The point is, I'll put the links down below. You can find them. You can read them. It's fantastic. I'll probably leave a review. Um, who? Uh, yeah, whatever. <clears throat> Anyways, sorry. Still early morning, so. Anyways, but the point is, uh, yeah, so books and video, you can go ahead and do those together. It's fantastic. Gosh, I hate um, Books and video together, they work, they're good. Love it. So <clears throat> um, now the other thing with video that can also very easily happen is you just watch it and don't actually do any practicing. You have to, regardless of whether it's in the book or on video, you're going to have to do some typing. You're going to have to do some practicing. Um, it's the only way to sort of solidify and, you know, 
iterate over the common things that you're learning. Um, just messing with the council um, is, is really what's going to you know, help you understand this stuff. Um, when I was reading the book, and the reason why the book probably for me uh, started the way it did, and I don't remember what the name of the book was, it was just, you know, the instruction manual for JavaScript. But um, I was actually, at the time, working at a call center um, for insurance and uh, whatever. The point is, is that in between calls, I was reading the book, and I was able to use the inspector tool inside of um, the... Uh, you know, Chrome browser, and I was learning stuff like, oh, okay, all right, cool, and writing, right? And at the time, I didn't know about text editors, so I was using Notepad and writing these scripts and, and, and writing, and I was using Notepad, mind you, like Notepad, Notepad, um, which doesn't have any syntax reading. It, 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 you know, I, like I would go nuts because I'm missing a semicolon. There's no way to figure that out. Then I was missing a bracket and whatever the case was. So, um, but I was doing these things um, on, on Notepad, copy and pasting them into the council and all this stuff. And that's how I was learning. I was basically just messing around with things, okay? But I was, I didn't have any sort of structure or anything. I was just sort of reiterating things that were written in the book. So as I talked about, you know, um, you know, arrays, I, I wrote an array as it, as I talked about, um, um, you know, combining strings and transforming them and whatever, that's what I was doing. And I was using, I was using those, um, you know, built-in methodologies uh, that the book was talking about and, and learning about them. That's kind of how you remember them because there's a lot of stuff to know and remember. And yeah, so anyways, so that's the advantage of having the book. It's also, you can have a book anywhere you are, right? You, you can't always bring your laptop with you. And I think it's very easy for us to get distracted with our cell phones. But um, you can put an ebook on your phone and, you know, go ahead and read that way also. Um, so that if you are working at a job where you have the opportunity to sit down in between your tasks, you can read, you can process. And, and don't think that, you know, once you read through a book, it's like osmosis, and it's all in your head, and you've processed it all. It's not quite like that. Um, what will end up happening is you're going to start recognizing words and start to kind of get the grasp of a few things. And with reading, I mean, you might have to read the same paragraph or two over and over and over to quite understand what they were saying. Um, but when you do do that eventually you, it starts to make more sense to you and you combine that with the videos and now it's clicking oh okay yeah i mean so and with the, the video and book i was i happened to have together um they were very much um started making things click on a higher level for me or lower level because i was learning lower level stuff um but it was starting to make sense to me and you know it just came with that repetition of, you know, um, them saying it one way, this saying it another way. It's the same thing with watching multiple videos and the same thing, right? If you're trying to learn uh, something, if you're confused by the word this, T-H-I-S, there are numerous tutorials specifically addressing that one issue, okay? And maybe you don't quite understand it from the first guy, and the second guy kind of puts things into a different perspective. And the third guy, because of your previous information gained from person one and two, he explains something and it finally clicks. It finally makes sense. And now when you're reading about it, now when you're watching another video about it, that that same frame of context makes sense. How they're describing it and how it's being utilized and when do you utilize it and what is its purpose and functionality. That makes sense to you now because of all this constant variations on how people will describe things. Um, so if you can get multiple sources telling you the same thing differently, eventually it's going to make sense to you. Eventually it's going to click. So, um, anyways, so that's one thing I wanted to just kind of throw out there, mention, and um, talk about. So, anyways, this is Chris with CodeChris.com. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, all that fun stuff. Uh, leave a comment down below. Any questions, thoughts, ideas, 
whatever the case is, be glad to hear it. All right. Have a good day. Good day. Good, good night. No, it's morning, so bye.